How is it? Fine. So you can't flip. So you can't flip. Yeah, the best, biggest part of kayaks are the seats. So you want a comfy seat. That's why we went with that one instead of the other one. Now get your paddles up, so now flip it over. No, literally flip it over like this. The logo. On this half ash review, we're going over the Van Hunks 2012 Bluefin 12. Overall length is 12 feet long, 34 inches wide, has a height of 15 inches. All inserts and fixtures are of premium quality and secured with marine grade stainless steel bolts and captive brass inserts. With a 555 pound weight capacity, the Bluefin is a UV resistant, extremely durable, and the ultimate kayak for family and friends of any kayaking skill level. I will say it is nice to have a kayak that actually comes with all eight scupper plugs, two paddles, a fishing rod holder, as well as two leashes for your paddles so they do not get away from you. Hey, look, hold on, I'm coming. Don't put your pole in the water. <laughs> Gotta put it in the hole. Hey, a nice one. That's a nice fish. <laughs> yep. Grab my boat nugget. Good job. There he is. Ariana, see if he can fish. Say bye. Bye, Fiji. Bye, Fiji. Bye, bye. Woo! Good yeah. job, Mama. That was all like your what third cast over here. There's been a few times I'll be my very first cast, I'll catch one. Little tiny baby boy. Okay, Sariana, it's your turn. So it's my first time on the blue fenner here. So while she's paddling, check this out. Yeah. How's that? Bonus. I'm sure it's meant to be dry storage, but today, today is cooler. There's plenty of room for Bebop to run around on here. What do you think about this? I like it. What do you think about it? I like this. There's enough room on You're like nowhere near being hit with my paddle. Oh, fish just jumped right in front of you. Nice thing about having all these extra holes. Oops. Gives us a place to put our rods. We're trying to get fish off the line. It's so it's hard to paddle, ain't it? Is that harder than here? Well, of course, there's more weight in here. Yeah. Well, earlier, you were like. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
here, fishy, fishy. Gatorade is thirsty. It's a tea, that I'm not a thirst. You want Gatorade or a tea? Here, drink one of these. These are real cold. Drink this guy. What's up, TikTok? You want to see why people suck? Look right there. The trash can. Down at the end of this boat dock is water. And currently, there's a bunch of trash because people are too lazy to get the trash off the boat and put it in the trash can. And it ends up in the car. And so this is why people suck. But don't worry, I guess I'll throw your trash away for you. The entire bag's of pineapple. Don't even get me started on the five beer bottles I pulled out of the canal the other day before I could even start fishing. But let's go. What's up OG5? So I just got back from Walmart because sadly yesterday we went on the new kayak and um, I didn't even think about leashes. I never had a problem on the lifetime kayak. And from as far as I can gather, the way I was paddling, the oar must have came up, hit the bottom of my reel, pulled my uh, rod and reel and lost it in the water. Ironically, this happened right after I did a TikTok video where I was throwing away the people's trash, talking about the bottles I cleaned up in the canal. So, no good deed goes unpunished. Do a TikTok about me cleaning up other people's trash and trying to get pollutions out of the canal and I lose a rod and reel in the canal. Good news is it was an Ozark Trail. Sad news is it was my first Ozark Trail, the one I caught all my fish on. So it's gone. I went to Walmart today. They didn't have any more. Got a Berkeley rod. And the uh, reason I like the Berkeley rod, because I don't know if you guys seen it, I thought I did a review, was a Berkeley rod with an Ozark Trail reel. So the other one I lost is the same Ozark Trail reel is gone. But I enjoyed this Berkeley rod. So I got this one. And so this is a little bit lighter one. Now I kind of like the idea of being the bass fisherman who fishes on a budget. Kind of showing people what you can catch with Walmart gear. They did not have any more of the Ozark Trail reels in, which sadly sucks. I like them. I like the one on the orange rod, and I put a smaller one on Nuggets rod. So I went with the um, Quantum Opix. Yeah, Quantum Optics, uh, size 40. It feels like it's got a pretty nice action on it. I kind of wish it didn't have red just so it would match the rod, but who cares about that? So now we got ourselves a Berkeley. This is the Berkeley Amp Saltwater. We fish in brackets, we'll make it work. And so today, Carrie is in little Steve. Nugget and Iron Big John. Trying to go fishing after we lost our rod last night. You'll get it. You need to try it with one hand though. Just use your right hand. Don't, don't hold on to it. This, just one handed. Well, you can get a better flip into it. And whip it. Oh, well, you'll get it. You got one? Yep. Got one off the red, white, and blue. Pull my rod. Right through the nose. Pull it closer to you. The rod. Chill out, dude. Try not to get that hook in my leg. No. Nope. Right through his nose. Let him go. Let him go. There he goes. A little tiny ones. First one caught off the red, white, and blue bait. Ooh, got something. He hit it quick, too. Uh, he spit it? No. These are, these little guys fight, man. Where's the hook at, dude?
I'm gonna use my new tool though. Oh yeah, it's right by your eyeball. Let's get our sting. There you go. Say bye. I got one. Yay! Slow, go slow. She got one, Mom. Nope, she got another trash bag. Got trash bag? Yep, bring it over here. Got one. Again? Come down here. Oh, this one's so tiny, it's ridiculous. Look how small this guy is. <laughs> <laughs> Come down here. Let me do it. Hold on, I gotta get him off the hook first. Can you get him off the hook? Or is it too hard? I know he'll st grab him. No. Here. Put your finger in his mouth. Put your thumb in his mouth. Just no. like I'm. Just put your thumb just, in his mouth. No. That hurts. Come down here. Due to a mess up, we finally got some leashes for our fishing poles so that we don't have a secondary mess up. I don't know how I get so much water back here. Is there a scupper plug back here? Perfect. And away we go. I don't know. It's going to be a long bike if it is. They don't just happen. They probably stole the bike and threw the parts they didn't want in the canal. No, that one's. There's no way that's one bike. It'd be a long ass bike. So it's two different bikes. Oh, it's just the tire. I was gonna put it up on the wall, but whatever. Ah, oh, people suck. They have cap captains for clean water. We need kayakers for clean canals. So today on our fishing adventure, I forgot the, well, we forgot the anchor once again. But uh, we don't have an anchor. And so now we're just kind of like a bass fisherman going with the tide. Well, the only disadvantage is you don't get to keep hitting the same spot until you grab the attention of the fish and I just hit a lily pad. What's that? So you pull your line. No, I didn't pull the line. He pulled the line. Probably because we tucked your hook back a little bit. Reseed it. Look how big. Mm-hmm. You want me to do it? Here's yeah. how you do it. Watch. I know how to do it. I'm just facing the wrong way. Got one. 
Little baby fish. Want to take him out for me? Fighting me. Hold on. Look, Daddy. Oh, he got off. He spit it out on his own. Say bye. Bye. Mine was that one's baby. Zoom. Okay, I think it's time to wrap up the now history's longest half ass review. So all in all in the Van Hunks Bluefin 12, I'm gonna give it a good B minus. Um, only complaints I have is one, um, because of how close the rear pole holder sit to the seat, as you guys saw, I did lose a reel. The argument could be made for an extra $15 on the price point, they could include leashes, but hey, that's not on them, that's on me. Another complaint I have, really not a complaint, just a heads up for you guys is, when you're floating around and you take your leg straight, these edges are rounded, but they do kind of sting your legs after a while. So you want to keep your feet in your feet holder as much as possible. So at the end of the day, one of the main reasons this gets to be is because of the lack of paddle storage. If the paddle storage came factory, was mounted on the sides, I'd give this thing a solid A, A minus. Um, but other than that, it's a great boat. Price point's good. So if you guys are surfing around YouTube and come across this video because you're looking for information on the Van Hunks Bluefin 12, um, it does, you know, it's a great boat. I like it. I'm satisfied with it. Uh, we refer to it as Big John and that's little Steve. But thank you guys so much. If you hung out this long, thank you. It's a long video. Please like, subscribe, share us with your friends and go check out some of our other half-assed reviews. They're usually a lot shorter because, well, they're half-assed. But I like this boat so much, and I realized at the time of making this, there was no other videos out on the Van Hunts Bluefin 12, so I wanted to be the first and give you guys quality information. And as you saw, we did catch some fish. We haven't found the big ones yet. Carrie and I did find a new location where the water's deep, and we think the big guys are down there. So hopefully in the next video, we'll have some big boys for you. Thank you, guys. This has been a Digital 410 production. <laughs>